In today's video, we're gonna go over my top four most anticipated EMTBs for 2022 and beyond. Two of them will be brands that already have existing EMTBs in the market, and the other two are brands that still have yet to produce one. So we're gonna just dive right in and start with my number one most anticipated EMTB, the Intense Taser. I'm sure most of the people that have shot for an EMTB in the past three years have come across this EMTB on their list. This bike was first introduced in the market back in late 2018 to early 2019. It's a full carbon frame with 160 millimeter travel in the front and 155 millimeter travel in the rear. It was one of the first EMTBs in the market to slap on a mixed wheel size. And it was during that time where we started seeing bikes with some very aggressive geometry and Intense was not shy in that department. And at the heart of the Taser is the Shimano Step system, primarily the E800 and the EP8 with a 504 watt hour battery. Most of the riders I've come across riding this bike have loved this EMTB. A good friend of this channel and also a Patreon supporter, Orvin shredded this EMTB for the longest time. I've heard on many occasions him comparing his Taser to his downhill bike. It's been almost four years now since Intense came out with a new model. I can feel something is just right around the corner. I'm actually really, really excited to see what Intense has in store for us. I mean, I got so many questions. Which motor will Intense partner up with? You think we'll be seeing the new SRAM motor used on the new Intense Taser? Will they stick with Shimano or jump ship to Bosch? Will we see two EMTBs from Intense, one lightweight, one full fat? So many questions and anticipation coming from Intense, and I'm sure Intense will not disappoint. Our second most anticipated EMTB on this list is the YT Decoy. Yes, this is an EMTB I still currently see so many riders with. It hasn't had a huge update since its launch back in 2019. And depending on the model, it's either a full carbon composite or a front carbon rear aluminum construction. It has 170 millimeters of travel up in the front and 165 millimeter travel in the rear. It was also one of the first EMTBs to adopt the mixed wheel size. It also utilizes the Shimano step system and comes with a standard of 540 watt hour battery. Everyone I encounter riding the decoy has had good things to say about it, especially how the bike can plow through pretty much everything you point at it. And with YT Mill so close to where I live, just can't help get excited about the newest updates. A quick disclaimer, I have nothing confirmed to YT. I have talked to zero sources. I just have a feeling a change is about to happen soon. I can't be sure of which direction it will be, but I'm sure that with the success of the decoy, you can count on YT to make something truly badass with some really good price points. And moving on to the third most anticipated EMTB on this list, comes from Ibis Cycles. Ibis does not have any EMT bits in their current lineup as of yet, but I feel like Ibis is about to jump into the EMTB scene very, very soon. Ibis has the reputation of some fast quality mountain bikes, and I can only speculate that if Ibis goes into the EMTB market, it could possibly start in the lightweight segment. This of course is to keep everything in line with their do it all efficient philosophy. Some really cool lightweight EMTBs have recently come out from Pivot, Transition, and Trek, and all a bit on the expensive side. Could Ibis come out with something just right on their first attempt? Let me know what you think down in the comments. So the fourth EMTB on this list comes from a brand that is made in Denver, Colorado, Gorilla Gravity. If you're a fan of Into the Gnar, I'm 100% sure you've seen Yoan Borelli send his Gorilla Gravity down some serious Gnar. A while back in 2021, Pinkbike published an article, seven brands that haven't released an EMTB yet. And in this article, Pinkbike asked the owner of Gorilla Gravity. In this article, Pinkbike asked the owner of Gorilla Gravity, why hasn't Gorilla Gravity made an EMTB yet? The answer was that they are still working on infrastructure since they're a fairly new brand. I was and still very excited to hear this. I love the fact that Gorilla Gravity is made and assembled here in the USA. It is a direct to consumer brand which keeps costs down, which we absolutely love on this channel. Plus, Gorilla Gravity offers frame sets on all of their models, which I really hope they can bring into the EMTB market. It would absolutely be awesome to see that happen. I would jump on that so quickly. Well, there you have it. 
my top four most anticipated EMTB of 2022 and beyond. What are some of the EMTBs you've been waiting for? Please leave a comment down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. Hope you all have a good week. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.